Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Snapshot 18W08A. In this week's Snapshot, guys, we have a lot of changes, so let's go ahead and get started. The first major change this week is that ocean biomes were split up into 10 distinct biomes. So we have Frozen Ocean Biome, which we are in right now. And you can see that if I hit F3, we're in Frozen Ocean. Frozen Ocean has ice on the top of the water in the ocean. And also, there is no plants that grow underneath of the frozen ocean ice. So that is something that's unique to frozen ocean biomes. There's also cold ocean, which is what this is right here. So cold ocean, you can see, does have plants in it, like kelp and seagrass. And there's also the deep water variants of these biomes. So if I hit F3, you can see right here where it dips down here. This is the cold deep ocean. And there's also deep frozen ocean as well. If we make our way over here, we see another ocean variant. This is the lukewarm ocean right here. Lukewarm ocean right here. And then, of course, it also has the deep variants, so deep lukewarm ocean, for instance. There's also the regular ocean biome, the typical ocean biome, and the deep variant, as well as warm oceans and deep warm ocean variants. You might have also noticed, if you're paying attention in that last clip, that there are now underwater ravines. So here is one such ravine, for instance. And this goes all the way down to, let's see, where does this go down to? This goes down all the way to level 11. So this is actually diamond level we're at right here. So that is pretty insane. Uh, there's also some kelp and some seagrass which can grow in these ravines as well. And I think we can also probably find some lava lakes down here. Which should be forming naturally spawned bubble columns. So let me see if I can find some of those. And you can see this whole cave system actually down here. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, right here. So yeah, these are some naturally occurring uh, ravines with some bubble columns. Although this doesn't go all the way up to the surface, but there are some that do. So this whole cave system I'm in right now actually is a big flooded cave system that is connected to the ravine. And yeah, it'll be interesting trying to navigate these things. And very interesting to sort of dive and explore these things as you come across them. And yeah, here's another example of an underwater ravine. You can see here, this one has a lot more lava, which has been since turned to obsidian. And it also has a bunch of magma blocks, which are forming naturally spawned bubble columns. So you can imagine coming across this in a boat. It could actually sink your boat if you're not careful. Uh, because this, these are quite a few bubble columns, which, you know, instantly sink you down to the bottom. So, yeah, here's a closer look down here at what it actually looks like on the ravine floor, but yeah, quite a lot of bubble columns spawning natural here in this ravine. There's also a new feature of the slash locate command this week. So if we type slash locate and let's do slash locate a monument, you'll see that now there is a clickable link to teleport us to the monument at those coordinates. So let's just go ahead and click it here uh, and then hit enter. And this is actually going to put us underneath the world, I believe. But yeah, if we go ahead and dig straight up, we should see, yeah, we are at the location of an ocean monument. So that's pretty cool. Side note, guys, I've found two ocean monuments side by side. I'm not sure if this is a bug in the snapshot or if I just got really lucky with this. But either way, uh, here's the seed right here in case you're interested. And the coordinates are those coordinates right there. So that is all for Snapshot 18W08A. We now have ocean ravines and filled underwater caves, as well as 10 different ocean biomes, which will be used in the future to determine, you know, things like where coral reefs spawn, where certain mobs spawn, and things like that. So big stuff coming in the future, guys. But for now, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cobb. Goodbye.